we do talk to organizations who have been accused of, uh, of racism. In other words, uh, uh, before you came to interview me, I didn't uh, ask you to pass a litmus test. I have no idea what your views are on race or a wide variety of subjects that you and I may disagree with. We have links on our website to, uh, to, to many different kinds of secession organizations. They vary from uh, on the far left, the Hawaiian independence movement, uh, the Puerto Rican and, and ourselves would be among the more left leaning. Uh, Alaska is a more libertarian uh, towards uh, the right side. Uh, Texas is kind of right, right of center. The League of South of the South is, is um, in, in, in many ways, a much more into preserving Southern culture, the flag, talking about the Confederacy. Um, uh, it's, it's actually not a, a very effective uh, secession organization because they, they, uh, they have too many uh, agendas that are unrelated to, uh, to secession. So, um, I've never shied away from, I mean, all, all my life, if, uh, if someone told me that I should not associate with, with the, I mean, growing up in Jackson, Mississippi, um, uh, under segregation in the 50s, if, if my father told me that I should not associate with blacks, that virtually guaranteed that that's only who I wanted to associate with. Talked about yeah. the precursor to the, to the Second Vermont Republic was something called the Lucius Quintus Cincinnati the Mars Society, which I started in 1969, which was a, do you know anything about that? No. Well, it's very relevant to the racism stuff. It's why it's so ludicrous when I, I get a charge to, of being a racist, because in 1971, we held our second uh, annual convention in Atlanta, and um, Jimmy Carter and all the new Southern governors from Linwood, Holton, oh, the governor of South Carolina, Georgia, Dale Bumpers from Arkansas, all the new left-wing governors were there, as were Julian Bond, Maynard Jackson, John Lewis, Andrew Young. Interestingly, Julian Bond was co-founder of the Southern Poverty Law Center. These guys all are speaking at the Lamar Society convention, which I started in 1969, that they would have ever considered speaking there if they thought I had one drop of racist blood in my veins. You know, it's just so obnoxious. You know, but it's, it's, uh, anyhow, the Lamar Society was all about, uh, uh, it was time for the South to come back in the Union, to get off the race kick, and uh, start solving its own problems, quit reacting to solutions imposed by the North. You could argue that's what the, the South had been doing for 100, 100 years.